Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam Omar, and in today's video we're going to show how to finish an acrylic crown after 3D printing. I'll start by placing my titanium base inside of my acrylic crown, just to make sure that we have a nice and tight fit, and I have to make sure that the tie base does not rotate inside of my crown like what we have in this case right here. In case you have small supports like in this case you could just snap them off by hand but in case you have a much larger supports you could just use a clipper and using this clipper you can just clip them out. In this case I will use my hands to just clip off the supports as in this case and this is how they twist off. Now I'll start to use a diamond burr and I'll make sure that I remove these little spikes that we have right here that resulted from the removal of the supports. After smoothening the crown, I'll make sure that I get a piece of gauze with a little bit of alcohol and I'll make sure that I wipe my crown just to get rid of any markings that we got on our crown. Next will be the bonding process of the tie base to my crown. In order for me to prime the metal, I'll make sure that I place a little bit of mono bond on the surface of my titanium base just to make sure that we prime it and prepare it for bonding. To dry the tie base, we could either use compressed air or we could just use an air dryer. Next would be to bond the inside of our acrylic crown by using a bonding agent. For this case, I'm going to be using VisioLink from Breedent. For the bonding agent, I use the Multi-Link Hybrid Abutment Cement from Ivoclar Viva Dent. I'll start by placing a little bit of cement inside the inside of my acrylic crown. And now I'll place my titanium base inside of my acrylic crown and I'll rotate until my tie base clicks in place like this. I'll also make sure to remove all the excess cement from the inside of my screw channel. Just to confirm that everything is nice and clean, I can always put in my screwdriver and I'll remove the screw from its position gently just to make sure that any excess is absolutely removed out of my crown. There we go, all nice and clean. Okay, so now after eight minutes have elapsed, I'll go ahead and I'll remove this from my kitchen utensil. I'll put this on the side and here it is. That will be my screwed in restoration and here it is, my tie base is really uh, glued in position. Go ahead and do any additional cleaning necessary. Now it's time to do the glazing process. For that I use Opti Glaze from GC.
There it is. Apply a nice and thick layer of optic glaze on top of your crown just to make sure that you have a good long lasting layer of optic glaze and just to make sure that your crown looks really really nice. Try to make sure not to put too much glaze material around or inside of your screw channel just to make sure that it will be nice and clear. And now I'll just go ahead and attach this to a tweezer and I'll go ahead and I'll put this inside of my light curing box. And this is our final product.